everyone. Welcome tonight. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm really excited. I love one sheets. I think they're an awesome way for you to kind of brand yourself and let people know who you are, what you do, and what you bring to the table. So tonight we're going to have you mostly muted, but if you have something to say, we're going to allow you to unmute yourselves so you can participate because I want to hear your voices and see what you're thinking about. Um, I don't know if you can see the image that I have up that I'm sharing on my screen. Um, we have a few other workshops this month. This is the first of the true workshops, which is going to be define your successes creatively with a one sheet. We're going to talk more about that this evening. And then in two weeks on the 15th, we're going to have resume formatting basics. Um, I find that many of the patrons at Port Washington Public Library struggle a little bit with Word and uh, with Google Docs. So it's a very basic class to help you understand how to set up the formatting of a resume. It's just going to be talking about exactly how to make it look the way that it should to get you past digital portals. And then on the last Monday of the month, the 29th, we're going to be doing elevator pitches. So that'll be a fun one. I'm hoping we might even be able to do some little group work where you can help each other develop your elevator pitches and practice them together. So if any of those sound fun to you, please join me again on Mondays. And then the second and fourth Monday of the month, we are going to be doing some drop-in hours where if you have a personal question that you'd like to get some feedback from me or from Maria Fry, we're going to be taking 10 minute sessions to help you with those questions. Um, so again, thank you for joining us. And now I want to get into what exactly is a one sheet. Um, you can raise your hand in the chat if you think you know what a one sheet is, because I'd love to hear what other people think of them and why you might use one. We've got crickets. <laughs> Hi, Maria. It's Deepa. Hi, Deepa. How are you? I first impression when I heard of that, um, I like guess, term was uh, it meant it was an elevator pitch. Um, to, or it's your career summary, uh, I think, in, in most highlighting some the highest bullet points of your career or what your brand is. It is all of those things, actually. So um, a one sheet is actually a really great tool because it can help you flesh out your LinkedIn profile. It can help you build your resume. It can help you have an abbreviated resume to give out when you're um, in a setting like a job fair where you don't, where you want to be able to tailor a resume more appropriately for the position, um, but also be able to show your transferable skills. Or it can be a really creative way to show just who you are and the things that you've done uh, because it doesn't need to be formatted the way that a regular resume will be. It could be pretty, it can have colors, it can have pictures um, and really show your personality. So um, does anybody else have anything that they'd like to add to what they think a one sheet might be? No? Okay. All right. So I, I'm going to try to share my screen to show you a couple examples of what a one sheet is. Um, we have three different versions uh, that we have seen and that we help people to create. The first one is going to be a one page, which is basically an abbreviated resume. Now you will all get access to look at these digitally online. Um, they'll be posted on our website. And I believe Denise will have the opportunity to send out an email or the link for the website with the password for you to look at these again. Uh, but if we look at this one, it is kind of like a resume and a cover letter all in one that allows people to kind of see what it is that you can bring to their company. So raise your hand in the group if you've ever taken a boot camp with Maria Fry and or myself. 
Yes. I see two, three. Okay. Yes, I did also for Ruzan. Thank you. Okay. So we have quite a few people that kind of understand what we write on the resume for your summary of qualifications. Obviously, over the years, you attain more skills, you have more experience, so it's always good to update that. Sometimes you're not looking for a new job, but you do want to make sure that you're still updating what it is uh, that you bring to the table for your own company and for potential new opportunities. So, Excuse me, Maria. Yes. I just want to say there was a question. How do you raise your hand? On the bottom right there's uh, of your screen, there's something that says reactions. And there's either a thumbs up or a raised hand. Okay. Thank you. Maria, I'm yes. sorry to interrupt. I just have, well, very quickly, I, this is important. Because I, I'm not taking registration for the, the workshops, um, it's on the, uh, the first, the 15th and the 29th, tw I'm sorry, the 20 is, yeah, the 29th. Um, anyone that wants that information that you spoke of is going to have to email me directly. So I will type my email address into the chat so that people have, but they, they will have to contact me directly if they want that information that you mentioned prior. Thank you, Denise. You're welcome. I'm typing it into the chat now. Perfect. Okay. Um, can everyone see the screen that has the template one page on it? No? Okay. It's still no, so still the same screen. No. Glasses. So let me go back to what I'm sharing and go to the correct thing. There we go. Can everybody see that one now? The template yes. one page. Yes. 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 Okay. So for those of you who were in bootcamp, you kind of know the format of our resumes uh, that we work on. For those of you who were not in our bootcamp or are hoping to be in our bootcamp in the future, um, this is kind of how we have found resumes get through those portals, uh, which are pretty pesky and kick a lot of things out. So we have a, a format for that. So for somebody that wants to create a one pager uh, that could be an abbreviated resume. We're basically using the same top part of our resume. And this would be a good way to start developing it. If you are trying to update your resume, or trying to just have a new type of document that can help you move forward in your career, uh, the, the template one page would be a great way to start fleshing out what it is you want on your resume. You can take the top part um, and look at it, you see it would be your name at the top where it says template one page, it would say Amy Fox one page. And then it would have your email address, your phone number, and then your LinkedIn URL that is your vanity URL. So not the one that is Depot 1237, but Depot's full name as the actual ending part of the URL for LinkedIn. Um, and then we have this line that separates it. It gives it a visual cue to move on to the next section. And then we say what type of professional we are. So I am an education and training professional or a finance professional. Whatever hat that you are wearing for that particular job that you're looking for or creating this one page for, uh, you would want to put that in bold at the top. And then the summary of qualifications. So this is going to be a brief summary of what it is that you do, what you're good at, what methodologies you use, and usually there is some type of qualifying educational information here. It talks about your strengths and uh, really just how you go about making sure that you do a good job in anything that you're focusing on. 
Um, now, this can be taken directly from your LinkedIn, or when you write this, you could then put it on your LinkedIn to differentiate yourself from other people who might just say, you know, desperado gun for hire, which is one of Maria's favorite things to say in class. Uh, we want to avoid those, but we do want to be clever and concise in what it is that we offer. Um, another good thing is if you are working on an elevator pitch, this is a good place to pull from in order to either create your elevator pitch or to add here from your elevator pitch, something that you're very comfortable with saying about yourself. Then the next section is our core competencies. Now, we always say you want 12 to 16 core competencies. Um, I think that's a good amount. I wouldn't try to do less than 12. Most of you are going to be very experienced in many things. Even if you're right out of college, you've been doing a lot of things for many years at this point, at least in the digital arena. So you can find things that are very important to you that you want to showcase, but also that are going to show both hard and soft skills. So training and development, team motivator, communication skills, process refinement, vendor management. If they apply to you, steal them. If they don't apply to you, you have to find something that makes sense for who you are and what you do. And then you can go on to the selected accomplishments. So these may all be in the same industry. They might be in different industries. Some people move around a lot. I know myself, I have been in eight different industries as a worker in my adult life. And I was a teacher, I taught family sumer science. I was licensed to teach 16 different subject areas. And I've basically worked in all of those subject areas over my years since I've been out of teaching. So if you were to look at my resume that is not tailored, my kitchen sink resume, one might think that I'm schizophrenic because I really am all over the place in the things that I enjoy doing and the things that I do well. So. If you are like me and you have a lot going on, that's okay. That's why we have a one page or one sheet that can show how diverse you are in your skill sets, but then your resume is what's gonna tailor it to the specific opportunity. Does that make sense to everyone? I see some nodding heads, good. Okay, so for selected accomplishments, these could actually be some of your bullets that you'd be putting on a resume but you would flesh them out a little bit more, making sure you're using the STAR technique, situation, task, action, results on an actual resume. So you can show not only what you did, but how you did it and the metrics. Uh, people like that quantifiable information, the numbers. So um, you can see in this example here, there are, a lot, there are numbers in every single one, 15 business days to four, 17% four years, consecutively, total 35 million, profitability by 38%. Like, that's really important. You, if you do not know your metrics, that's something that you need to start looking into um, when you're creating a document like this. I will tell you, this is the, probably the most formal of the one sheet and the one pagers that we do. But many of you who are looking for work right now, this is a great resource to have because if you are on LinkedIn and you're in groups and you're trying to find people at companies that you have interest in, you can just attach this in an in message for them just saying, hi, my name is, I'm very interested in learning more about your succession in the industry. Um, I am looking to you know, advance my career in this field. Um, I've attached you know, a snapshot of some of my successes, I would love your feedback on it. You're not asking for a job, you're just saying, like, I'm really interested in what it is that you do and I'd like to break into that. Let me know if you think what I'm doing makes sense for the actual industry or the company that you work with. And then at the very bottom here, it says I look forward to the opportunity to speak with you. And then you would just sign your name um, and that way it's, not a formal resume, it's not a formal cover letter, but it's a, hey, I'm here, I really wanna know what's going on and could we be a good fit? We can come back to this a little later. Does anybody have any questions about this particular one? 
Oh, and I enlarged it. I'm sorry. Again, you will have access to this as long as you email Denise with your contact information. Um, I don't see any questions being typed right now. So I'm going to go on to the next one. Um, now, I have a, a couple different ones that I personally use in, in the past.